The particular design of any technology may have profound social implications. Computing technologies are deeply intermeshed with the activities of daily life. Computer science education can help meet these challenges by making ethical reasoning about computing technologies a central element in the curriculum. Computer science as a field has advanced so that we no longer need to ask simply, can we build a system that does something, but rather also, should we build a system that performs in a certain way? How should we design it so that it has the positive impacts we want, but not negative consequences? Embedded Ethics is a teaching collaboration between the departments of computer science and philosophy at Harvard. And we wrote this article to share some of the innovative methods that we've been developing in hopes that it'll be helpful to other computer science departments across the country and the world. Our students here at Harvard have begun to request that more courses incorporate not just technical material, but addressing the societal and ethical challenges that the systems and the algorithms they're designing and learning about can generate. It's no surprise any longer that ethics education of some kind is needed in computer science. The world is becoming more technologically advanced and we face a variety of ethical challenges as a result. We've decided to attempt a new approach to ethics education at Harvard by deeply integrating ethics education into the technical education already present in the computer science curriculum. Embedded ethics works by situating the ethical challenges and the thinking about them in context of the technical material so that it becomes a habit to think not only about designing efficient algorithms, but also about whether the design is the best design you can have to maximize what the system is intended to do and minimize potential harm. A crucial part of embedded ethics is that we have people who are experts in normative thinking and ethical reasoning do the teaching of the ethics. On the ground level, what that looks like is we recruit advanced philosophy PhD students to partner with computer science course heads and provide them with custom-made ethics modules that can be deployed with very minimal modification to already existing syllabi. Those modules are being developed and workshopped by advanced PhD students led by philosophy postdoc students in a weekly meeting that we're calling the Teaching Lab. And our ambition is that these modules provide direct insight to the computer science students about how the technical material they're already engaging with has direct ethical implications that otherwise might be hidden from them in their ordinary computer science education. Integrating ethics education into computer science in this way is also of tremendous benefit to the philosophy graduate students who are doing the on-the-ground teaching. That's because without having some access to the technical expertise, among not only our CS faculty, but the students themselves, philosophers wouldn't have the right kind of understanding of how these systems, algorithms, and programs work in order to give them an interesting ethical assessment. One of the things we're most excited about in the future is sharing what we've learned with other universities. The modules we develop for courses are online and open access, and we hope other people will use them. And we're trying to make them useful to people by not only providing what we teach, but some commentary on why we make the choices that we do make. It's especially exciting to see a kind of promise of a liberal arts education realized in this program. We want our students to understand that academic divisions aren't sharp boundaries across which no one can communicate. To learn more about embedded ethics, please see the August 2019 issue of Communications of the ACM and the contributed article, Embedded Ethics, Integrating Ethics Across CS Education.